Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Friday. I'm your instructor, Jessica Sprague. I'm excited about today's episode because we're going to be talking about creating our own brush from a custom shape, and then we're going to use that brush here on our page. So the first thing that we want to do when we're creating a new brush is to always create a new document. The brush creation process basically looks down through all of the layers that you have. So if you've got color or other items below the shape that you want, it's going to include those in your brush as well. So the easiest way to prevent that from happening is to start a new blank document. I like to start with a 12 by 12, but it doesn't matter at all. So we'll come up to File and New and Blank File. And now let's go ahead and set our width to 12 inches and our height to 12 inches, resolution 300 pixels per inch. This will give us a good idea of how large to make our brush as well. And let's set this to RGB color and transparent background and we'll click OK. So now we can zoom on in, kind of center up our screen here with the space bar, and let's grab our custom shape tool. It's this kind of blobby one right here and you can see that our tool options are down here in Photoshop Elements. So we're actually going to choose from the set of installed custom shapes that come with Photoshop. So we'll go ahead and pop that out. Let me raise it up so we can see it here. And now let's go ahead and drop down this box that says Shapes and we'll choose All Elements Shapes. That should get us where we need to go and we'll go ahead and scroll down until we reach the one that is the triangle. Looks just like this. So let's double click on our triangle shape. We want the filled triangle. And let's go ahead and color this in black. The brush creation process only sees things in shades of black and white and gray. So any color will be translated into whatever the tonality for that matching gray is and that becomes a shade of transparency. So we want everything that we want to be solid to be black. And then later on, if we wanted to create other kinds of brushes that had some semi-transparent aspects, we would print those or create those in some shade of gray. So for now, let's go ahead and type the letter D, which returns our foreground color to its default of black. And now let's go ahead and draw our shape. I think I'd like mine just a little bit taller than wide, so I'm not going to hold down my shift key. Holding down your shift key will constrain that to the shape that you've seen in the preview. But if you don't hold down shift, you can basically drag that whatever way you want. So let's go ahead and create that. And we need to rasterize this or turn this from a shape layer into a pixel layer. So we just need to right click and choose simplify layer. If you're in the full version of Photoshop, that command will be called Rasterize. So now we can go ahead and grab our rectangular marquee tool and click and drag to create a rough selection here. And we'll come up to Edit and Define Brush from Selection. Now we get to name this whatever we want. It will only show us the name when we hover over this in our brush palette, but it's worth giving it a name. I'm just going to call mine JS triangle. Click OK. And now we have a beautiful brush that we've added in to our brush list. So let's switch over to our document here and let's put this to good use. Let's go ahead and put this underneath our wide paper layer right here. So the way we'll do that is by creating a new layer underneath that wide paper layer. To create a new layer underneath another layer, you could either click on your plus journal block and click the new layer button, or you can control and click on the new layer button, or command and click, and it will create the new layer underneath rather than its default of on top. So we're going to call this one Pinked Edge 1. Now let's go ahead and grab our move tool, zoom on in. I want to zoom in just far enough to where I can see the whole document side to side. 
That'll make it a lot easier to create that brush stroke all the way across our page. So we've got our new layer. Let's go and grab our brush. So we can click on our brush tool right here. So it's not the smart brush, it's actually just the plain old brush. If you type the letter B, you'll get there. And let's go ahead and select our brush from our drop down right here. Grab our brush from the very bottom. So we'll double click on that and you can see that we've got a shape here. We can use this shape in any way that we want to. So let's go ahead and shrink this down a little bit. You'll use your left and right bracket keys. So we could use this as a banner or we could do what we're going to do here which is use it as kind of a pinked edge as if we had taken it with pinking scissors. So let's go ahead and just size that down. I'm using my left bracket key which is above the enter key on my keyboard. Now we want to be stamping this brush in white. So we know that black is our foreground color because we typed the letter D. So all we need to do to switch our foreground and background colors is to type X. X will switch the foreground and background and now we have one more thing we need to do and that is to come into our spacing. So in brush settings we'll come into spacing and we want to set this to 100 percent. Close that and now we're ready to try this. Basically what we're going to do is click down on the place where we want to start and then hold down shift and click down on the place where we want to end. So here we go. I'm going to click down and then hold shift and then click down again on the place we want to end. Now this came out a little too tall for me so I'm just going to shrink that down a little bit. And that looks great. So we've got this really cute pinked edge. So we could do this exact same thing or we could just copy this one we have. It's so much easier just to copy. So let's come over to our layers palette here. And we'll go ahead and right click on that pinked edge one layer and let's duplicate that. We can just call it pinked edge two. Click OK. And now we have that. And all we need to do is drag this down hold down shift to drag things in a straight line and now we can just flip this. So we'll come up to image and rotate and flip layer vertical. That'll put the top little points down to the bottom. Now we can just use our arrow keys to nudge that right into place. Now we can copy one of the drop shadows from here so we can use the wide paper one. Just copy layer style and then on our pinked edge 2 we'll just right click and choose paste layer style and on the pinked edge 1 right click and paste layer style. So we've created these super super cute pinked edges that have lots of potential for use in all kinds of different projects. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Photoshop Friday. I'm Jessica Sprague and I'll see you soon.